Good evening, you are watching Just News. I am Amitha Balachandra. Straight up to our top story. The Supreme Court today ordered the police in Delhi, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh to take action in cases of hate speech irrespective of the religion of the offenders and without waiting for complaints. Now, Justice Joseph has said, and I quote, where have we reached? What have we reduced religion to? It is tragic, end quote. Now, the bench warned that any delay on the part of the administration in taking action will be viewed as contempt of court. Now, the bench was hearing a petition seeking to stop the growing menace of targeting and terrorizing the Muslim community of India. The police forces of Delhi, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand were made parties to this petition. Moving on now, SpiceJet has been allowed to operate at full capacity from the 30th of October, according to ANI. Uh, this comes three months after the G DGCA ordered the airline to operate only 50% of its flights following several technical snags. Now, as of October 12th, uh, when the 50% uh, cap was still in effect, SpiceJet's plane made an emergency landing in Hyderabad after detecting smoke in the cabin and the cockpit. Now, in uh, July, the un an unusually high number of incidents involving SpiceJet aircraft had prompted the aviation regulator to seek an explanation from the airline as well. Also, a horrific story coming in from Uttar Pradesh. A 32-year-old man has died in a private hospital in UP's prior grudge where he was allegedly given fruit juice instead of blood platelets as transfusion. Now, the family of the deceased alleged that the patient, Pradeep Pandey, was transfused with, uh, fused with uh, Mosumbi juice and chemicals in a platelets bag. Now, after the patient's condition deteriorated, he was shifted to another hospital where he passed away. The hospital has been sealed by the district administration. The hospital also has refuted all the allegations, saying that the platelets were procured by the relatives of the patient. Now, Deputy Chief Minister Brijesh Patak has tweeted, and I quote, Taking cognizance of the viral video at the hospital where a dengue patient was transfused with sweet lemon juice instead of platelets, on my directive, the hospital was sealed and the platelet packets have been sent for testing. If found guilty, strict action will be taken against the hospital. End quote. Now, District Magistrate Sanjay Kumar Khatri has said, and I quote, an inquiry is underway and the platelets will also be tested. End quote. Meanwhile, in Arunachal Pradesh, four bodies were recovered from the site where an army helicopter carrying five people crashed uh, in uh, Upper Siang district today. In fact, NDTV reported that the site of the crash is not connected by any road and hence three aerial rescue teams were sent to the location. Rescue operations are underway. This is the second helicopter crash in Arunachal Pradesh in October. Earlier this month, a pilot lost his life and several others were injured after a cheetah helicopter crashed near Savang. Trigger warning for people who are watching uh, Right now, the next story consists of uh, sexual assault details, including a boxer case. A four-year-old uh, was allegedly raped for two months in a private school in Telangana. The government ordered to cancel the license of the DAV public school in Banjara Hills in Hyderabad. Now, all the students, according to the directive, currently studying there would be shifted to other schools of the same locality. Now, the parents had noticed behavioural changes in the child and when the mother inquired with the child, she realised that something was terribly wrong. The child had reportedly pointed to the driver who had access to the children inside the school. An investigation found that CCTVs in the school was also not working and also that the dri driver had often taken on the role of a teacher of the pre-primary uh, section. Now, the school in Banjara Hills area was shut after the incident became public. The driver of the uh, school principal uh, accused of raping and sexually assaulting the child for over two months was, re was arrested on Wednesday. Later, the principal of the school, who was reported to have laughed off the complaint about abuse and did not act on it, was also arrested following protests by parents. Moving on to the state of Karnataka now, Karnataka cabinet on Thursday has approved the ordinance on hiking 
the reservation for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe communities from 15 to 17 percent and 3 percent to 7 percent respectively now to give you a context an ordinance is a temporary law passed by the president or a governor when parliament or a state assembly is not in session once the ordinance is promulgated the assembly will have to prove it within six months now uh, failing which it will cease to be in effect with the proposed hike the total reservation in karnataka will increase to 56 percent above the mandated 50 percent limit of the supreme court also in the news mumbai police has issued prohibitory orders for 15 days from the 1st of november to the 15th of november under the prohibitory orders under section 37 of the maharashtra police act in mumbai no more than five people can gather at a place no processions allowed bursting of firecrackers use of loudspeakers and music bands in a procession is not allowed now wedding ceremonies funerals uh, have also been exempted uh, dcp sanjay latkar has said and i quote these are routine orders which are issued by the mumbai police throughout the year end quote on to news coming in from across the globe right now indonesia has banned the sale of all syrup medicines as it investigates the deaths of uh, nearly 100 children in this year warning that the liquids may contain ingredients linked to fatal kidney injuries now it's not clear if the medicines were imported or locally produced indonesian authorities have not disclosed the brands of syrup linked to sick children now the move comes just weeks after the world health organization issued an alert over four indian made cough syrups uh, that it said were potentially linked with acute kidney injuries and the deaths of 70 children in the Gambia. Now, WHO had issued a global alert as the four cough syrups uh, that were manufactured in Haryana contained, and I quote, unacceptable amounts of uh, diethylene uh, glycol or DEG causing kidney injuries. Now, Indonesia's health minister said that the DEG was also found in some medicines used in these cases. Also, WHO Chief Scientist Dr. Soumya Swaminathan said that the death of children in the Gambia, uh, potentially linked to four Indian-made cough syrups, was a serious issue. She said, and I quote, Certainly the government is in touch with the WHO, as WHO actually provided the report based on the investigation which was done to prove that it was because of the diethylene uh, glycol contamination. It is a very serious issue and it's been taken very seriously, end quote. Moving on to sports news right now, uh, FIFA has been asked by a group of Iranian football and uh, sports personalities to ban Iran from the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Uh, now, the group has said, and I quote, neutrality from FIFA is not an option, end quote. This comes amid violent crackdown in Iran against widespread anti-government protests. Protests have been taking place. For over a month now, soon after the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, uh, who died after being arrested by the morality police over improper hijab, there are women uh, in uh, these protests now setting fire to their headscarves, they're also cutting their hair in public. Um, and more than 200 people, according to human rights groups, have died in these protests. That brings us to the end of this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.